Well, this is my second 130XE. Now, this is actually a working machine, um, but it's got a keyboard issue. I mean, it gets so frustrating. You keep these machines, they're working 100%. You leave them on the shelf. Five years later, you want to pull it down, play a game on it to do something. You find now suddenly the keyboard's not working. So let me just show you. So I'm going to switch it on. And I'm going to type on the keys. Let me just go through here to the actual screen. Okay, so you should be able to see the screen there. And if I type, the one key works, two, three is not working, four works, five, six, seven, seven not working, eight not working, nine not working, oh, zero not working, clear, insert not working, delete not working, break, return importantly not working. Q, W, so definitely there is a break either on the ribbon cable or something is causing an issue as not all the keys are working. So I've started taking it apart. Let's see if I can find the broken ribbon uh, or where it's actually broken on the ribbon or whatever the issue may be. And let's see if we can fix my second Atari 130XE. Okay, so opening up the back, the first thing that worries me is somebody's gone and put a whole lot of tape. <laughs> I don't know what the hang that is. Look at all that tape that's been put down there on the... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Why would there have been put tape on there? So definitely an issue there. And I want to check to see if there's any breaks along these ribbon along the ribbon from Joe from the key presses um, that which that which are then obviously affecting it so I'm going to remove this tape I don't know what it's doing on you who did what where and how yeah on this at some stage and um, let's see okay so I've removed that horrible tape that was on there I don't know why it was on there and uh, now I'm going to have a look using the magnifying glass and light to see if I can see first of all any tracks that are damaged um, and that need fixing. Okay so the second thing I noticed now is another piece of tape has been placed. So obviously some of these tracks have been damaged and somebody thought they could fix them by putting sticky tape over them. So I'm going to have to remove that and then I'm going to use my multimeter put that into content continuity and then just track you know so basically the multimeter will then be able to track whether there are any you know if there's any break in continuity I won't get that noise so let me remove that ugly piece of sticky tape over there might have to clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then see which traces are broken so I've decided not to remove that piece of sticky tape that's on there. I've got a feeling that if I remove that piece of sticky tape, I'm going to rip up a lot of the tracks that are there. So now what I've been doing, and I've identified one track that is not working. So if I use my continuity tester, and I follow the track, so this one, this is the one I've identified yeah, that's not working, but let me just go back to one that is working. So if I there, follow that track up, There, you can see it's working. Go to the one next to it, working. One next to it, working. The one next to it, working. The one next to it, aha, not working. So this track over here is definitely not working and that seems to be having an issue. So now I need to find that. So now all the other tracks are working. I haven't found any other. That could be the reason why some of those letters are not working. So let me fix that one. And, uh, or first of all, try to identify where it is broken under this piece of sticky tape, which I wish they would never have put on there. 
and uh, then I can use some uh, oh, I'm going to have to use something that's going to be conductive I've got some of that conductive ink and uh, fix the brake so let me see if I can find it well if you look very carefully I've put a little bit of conductive ink or paint from there through to there I'm waiting for it to dry now so I did remove all the sticky tape I checked all the lines next to it no breaks there just this one line was broken so now I've put the conductive ink that'll take about 10 minutes to dry and then become conductive hopefully well it's not very pretty but it's done so I added in this conductive ink joined there through to there and it's dried and now it is the continuity meter is showing that it's conductive so let's put it back together and let's see if I have a better result okay so I've put it together back again the membrane back on to my spare keyboard it's a different keyboard but with my working 130 XE and we're going to switch it on and we're going to see whether the keystrokes all work one thing I have learned now using this conductive ink is that it has to dry the longer you leave it to dry the more conductive it gets so don't expect it to be conductive as you put it on it just doesn't work that way I, th I kept thinking I was doing something wrong and I kept redoing it and redoing it and making a mess just let it dry so I'm going to switch on let me just tilt this over here okay ready so now you should be able to see let's see now I'm going to start with one one's working two three four ah four still not working Five's working, six, seven, eight, nine still not working, O's working. Ah, okay, earlier. So some of the keys are working that weren't working earlier. I can delete. Previously I couldn't delete. Ah, that one's working now. There we are. So that conductive ink is slowly drying. Let's just have a look. If I pushed return previously, it didn't work. Now return is working. Q. Definitely many more keys are working. Okay, so it looks like 99% of the keys are working. Let's just try that once again. It looks like it's more with the numbers. Let me push return earlier. Return wouldn't work. Um, so let's go one, two, three, four. What? Ah, now four's working. How's that? Earlier on, four wasn't working. Five's working. Six, seven, eight, nine. Zero's working. That's working. The bracket's working. That's working. Delete's working. And ret returns working. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. It definitely looks like it has worked. Um, I think as that conductive ink dries further, it'll become more and more conductive. And um, the keys will be easier to push. Um, but otherwise, even my space key is working. And yes. So I think uh, we managed to fix that old membrane. 99%. Um, some of the keys are a little bit sticky. Or you just have to push them a little bit harder. But um, otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that, especially using conductive ink for the only about the second or third time that I've ever used it. Um, so, yeah, it went pretty well. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful for anybody that wants to fix a, a membrane for a key for one of these old computers. Um, conductive ink does work. Okay, guys, cheers from me, and remember, keep it retro.